Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. So, last time we defeated the Phantom Butterfly and what appears, well, the Phantom Lady Butterfly, and what appears to have been a memory of Wolf himself from where he first got resurrected by Kuro uh, using his dragon's blood. But, uh, dragonkin blood. But now we need to do a bit of managing. So, First things first, I want to talk to the sculptor and see if I can't upgrade any of my um, prosthetic uh, attachments. <laughs> what is it? So he's still sick, but apparently I can still present shinobi prosthetic stuff to him. So if I want to fit something, I can't. Hmm. Why do I upgrade then? Because I have been receiving some materials to upgrade my prosthetic. But apparently... <laughs> Sculptor, I don't need your concern. I'm not normal, you see. No mere dragon rot will kill me. Okay, but I can't seem to use those materials to actually upgrade my uh, prosthetic tools just yet. So, no biggie. We can do something else. So let's just... Um, commune with the Sculptor's Idol and we can actually enhance our attack power by using the memory we got from Lady Butterfly. So there we go, confront memory butterfly. So enhance our attack power by confronting memory Lady Butterfly. Do we actually need to do something? No. Remnant Lady Butterfly, the battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Although distant, recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf. The Phantom Lady Butterfly was appointed by the wolf's foster father as one of his mentors in shinobi techniques. Aha! Uh -huh. So Wolf actually learned from Lady Butterfly. That explains some of her comments during the battle as well. These mentors employed strict methods. The cultivation of shinobi techniques can only be achieved in the midst of battle. And there we go. Attack power has been enhanced. So with our, any of our attacks, we should now do more vitality and posture damage. Uh, then we also have two skill points. And I think the first skill point should actually just go for the mid-air deflection. Because that sounds... Yeah, that sounds like something we want to actually be able to do. So now we can deflect while in mid-air. The moment an enemy attack lands while in the air, mid-air deflect as well. So we can guard and deflect now while in the air. Which is going to be cool. So now we can actually do that. That is awesome. Next thing I want to do is actually head towards the uh, old lady that got us the bell in the first place. So I'm just gonna go stealthily through this and get the dragon rod samples from her. I'm actually wondering, does it seem like I can actually cross? I think over there somewhere is the other sculptor's idol. So I'm wondering if there's a shortcut, but it doesn't seem like there is one. So skipping through most encounters here is just trying to be as stealthy as possible. I don't actually know if this is a path somehow. Huh. Seems we can actually drop down here as well. Huh, and there's an item here. Agachin's Sugar. The high Senpu priest gave this candy to a band of short but adept assassins. Suppresses so sound and presence for a time, making the user harder to detect. Bite the candy and take the Gachin stance to impart the inhuman benediction. The assassins do Senpo's dirty work. Once hired guards, now extensions of the monks will in their quest for undeath. So the Senpo. That sounds like a group of characters that we're gonna see later on. I'm just wondering, probably go onto this branch. Maybe try to get an attachment over there. Although, you know what, seems like a better idea to just, just jump over there. There we go. I'm just gonna go for the grass here. Because I feel like, yeah, I'm back at the cannon area. So that's a bit too far now. There we go. So he's now dying from his wounds and dying from Dragon, Dragon Rod. Rod too. That is a very interesting Someone. conversation. Anyone. Aww. I'm here. My, my mother... So we actually completed her. Oh yeah, she's on the ground as well. You'll only make it worse. Forget about me. 
My mother. My mother. Oh god. Um sorry dude. Take off the Take blood sample. So we got the dragon rod blood. I'm sorry, I needed to skip through that, but blood sample of a dragon rod victim. Contains stagnated blood. Emma can use this to find a cure. So that's what we're here for. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. There we go. And I think did that trigger anything else? No. Okay, he just he just died really, really weirdly. So let's just jump up here and have a little chat with the mother as well. So that's Inosuke, right? So I don't know her name, actually. I am so sorry about this. It's all because of my horrible inability to fight. So they're worrying about each other. So she still thinks that I'm her son, which is interesting because we know, oh gold. We now know that she was at the temple where we defeated Lady Butterfly. Oh, and there's four guys coming down. Gonna have to deal with them first. I think. Although, wait, is there a path going through that mountain? Just wanna try and kill them, give me a second. That's one. I think that should give me enough time to actually deal with the rest of her talk. So protect, yeah. Don't you have... Okay, she doesn't actually give me... She's clearly infected by the dragon world, but I can't get a sample from her. So maybe I need to bring that sample back to Emma first. Although that might be a bit weird. So stealthily taking care of the cannon guy. Because uh, we need to head forward here anyway, so I'm just gonna check out if we can't do anything fancy around here. So last time I think we went down there, but uh, this time I want to take the alternate route. Just to see if there's anything I missed, which, I mean, there's probably gonna be something I missed. Now, that seems to be a, a path as well. We're going higher and higher here. Um, so that drops down again. Aha! Aha! There's more stuff over here. Seems to be a big... Another part of the buildings over here, and... That's a spirit emblem, but feels like it's luring me away from looking at the rest of the space. That's the Sculptor's Idol, actually, that we triggered last time. So let's just clear this area out first, so we can check out what is here. And then move forward. I think that guy might actually be a gunner. Or one of those is anyway. Ooh. That was a loud noise. So there's something freaking out over there. But I can't eavesdrop on this conversation. I feel safe with that big bastard just tied up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured just before the war begins. Ah, if the worst happens. Only choice is to use fire. Those red eyes fear fire. That's what the Lord Proclamation says. Proclamation? What a joke! Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war. So, our first red eye dude, which is interesting, because of course, we know that they need fire, and we got the, the flame vent from the memory of the Hirata estate. So, let's just. Let's do this. There we go. And one deflect is enough to kill this guy off. But now, something is chained up there. Seems like a big giant. Gonna have to be careful. But I haven't checked any of these areas out over here, so... Oh! There's actually... Is that the merchant we saw in the Hirata estate memory as well? This guy, yeah, with the red headband. Hello, good sir. Ah, uh, I know you. You do? Yeah. <laughs> You're that good sir shinobi, sir. Uh -huh. well, I haven't seen you since, well, since that night. So now he remembers us. I wonder if we talked to him first, what would happen? You don't remember? Yeah, we do. 
We do. Oh, I see. You don't remember. Hmm. Listen, sir. You and I? No, we've met before. I was a thief back then. <laughs> but those days are behind me. Now, I'm an upright and honest merchant. Only problem is, I'm broke. And being broke, I don't have anything to sell. So, good sir, would you mind lending me just a few coins to get my business going? I'll stock something useful just for you. <laughs> you bet I will. And as a little bonus, I'll tell you all about that night. What do you think? Pretty good deal, right? <laughs> Purchase information for 50 cent or not interested. Uh, we might as well. Here's some coin. <laughs> Thanks, good sir. Now talk. Yes, 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 of course. That night. <laughs> so my gang broke into the Hirata estate. Now, as you're aware, the Hirata family is part of the Ashina. Now, normally they'd mop the floor with petty thieves like us. I mean, no sweat. But... Just so happens we broke in during a battle. Yeah. Almost all of the young samurai were away from home. And it was a prime opportunity. <laughs> then we started a fire and cleaned out the place. That there's when I met you. You, you were looking for something. At least that's what it looked like to me. And well, that's all I know about that night. I see. Yeah. Uh, that uh, look you're making now. <laughs> You had that same look on your face that night. You still looking for something? We are. We are. Good, sir. For a price, I might be able to tell you some other tidbits you might find useful. Now, for a price, of course, I'm a, a merchant now, you know, sir. Okay. Anayama the Peddler. I can purchase information, but I don't know how costly that's going to be. Yeah, 100 cent. I don't have 100 cent anymore because I lost everything to Lady Butterfly. So. I'll procure some goods with the coin you gave me. Look forward to it, good sir. So we can purchase more information from him, but I don't know how useful that's going to be because, of course. Oh, what the. This man was from Hirata. I must pay my respects. Lord Kuro. Lady Emma. Are there other Hirata survivors? There are very few of us left. I see. Apologies. There's no end to those who seek the dragon's heritage. This was their fate. Because of those that pursued me. I didn't mean to involve them. Okay. So Kuro and Emma were here to pay their respects to the dead. But this looks to be... A stable of some kind so weird weird and it seems like Emma was there as well then because she said there's not many of us left not many of them left so fair enough so I'm gonna equip the flame vent just because you know you know we're gonna probably need that against this guy a red-eyed giant and there's fog over there Ooh, he's gonna break free He's definitely gonna break free. Just wondering if I can actually get... He's gonna probably break loose and I'm gonna get hit. There we go. Grab attacks. Grab attacks cannot be deflected. There is no way to avoid taking serious damage once grabbed. Enemy grab attacks can be evaded with a well step. Time to step dodge. Okay. And we got the fire going. Is there something else? Yeah, there's something else. God damn it. There's a guy here. Jesus Christ! Ah! Ow! 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 I couldn't get out of there. He doesn't automatically drop off ledges, which is interesting. Let's just keep whacking him. And get our first death blow in! Shane Doger in the face. Whew, Jesus. Oh, we can actually get... Ow. Ow. And we died. That was... Yeah. Don't get grabbed. 
I think I can actually use the grappling hook. Take advantage of getting... Oh, he's actually burning now. Oh, yeah, okay, I died. Oh, damn it. Shouldn't have been so careless. <laughs> I'm trying to press it, but it's still... There we go. And that's actually getting us the sun as well. So if I'm just running, that's actually better than just... And there we go. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Uh, and we just survived that. No, no, no. Okay. We survived. We survived. We survived. Get up. 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 And there we go. Now we get our first death blow. I want to save the flame vent for a later stage. It's going to heal again. Oh, God. No, nah, no, nah, he got me again. Ow! And that doesn't f actually hurt us. And there we go. And there we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There we get fire. Didn't really get to capitalize on that too much. Oh, that was bullshit. I should be able to block that, but yeah. Oh, that that's not what I wanted to do. Come on, buddy. And that's a good one because he's stunned for a bit. Ooh, hoo -hoo. And there we go. Stabbed him in the face and down his eyeballs through his head. And goodbye. We got all our spirit emblems back as well. And a prayer bead. A loose prayer bead offering four of them will increase our maximum vitality and posture, which we can now do. And we got the Shinobi Medicine Rank 1 as well, a latent skill that increases the healing effect of recovery items. Medicinal knowledge is vital for Shinobi survival, receiving wounds in battle is inevitable. The only way to learn such techniques is to be gravely injured time and time again by worthy opponents. Okay, so we actually upgraded the skill as well, just because we got hit a lot. <laughs> Don't see how that's a compliment, but let's just get back to the Sculptor's Idol so I can rest and use those Vitality Beads. If I just, if I just, yeah, don't kill myself by jumping off a ledge. B wait, what? <laughs> okay. So if you drop off a ledge that's not in combat, you actually survive with a little bit of health gone. That is interesting. Uh, don't mind if I do. So I didn't die there, interestingly. Let's commune and rest. And then we can use those travel beads to... Uh, is that enhance physical attributes? Yes, enhance physical attributes. First prayer necklace. Loose prayer beads strung together in offering to a sculptor's idol. Increases maximum vitality and posture. A prayer bead necklace befits the strong. The ferocity of Ashinel's army is renowned throughout the nation. Its generals are especially talented, every one of them accomplished in the Ashinel sword style. Okay. Maximum vitality and posture have increased. There we go. We've increased pretty much everything now. But. Now we need to probably get into that building. So let's just kill those guys again. But now. We can actually get in the building through that hole. And that gives us another higher up area like we've seen one before. Nightjar monocular, a bamboo tube used to see distant objects. 
While Shinobi already have good vision, looking through this tube with one eye enables one to see even further. The Nightjar Ninja serve Ishin Ash Ashina, guarding the rooftops of Ashina Castle, their sharp eyes on the lookout for any would-be trespasser. Not much escapes the eyes of a Nightjar. So, sort of ninja, that's actually on the lookout. That is, that's a general of some sort. So, oh, so we're going from one bad guy to another. Can't open that up from here. Okay, it seems to be a shortcut of some sort. And then on the other side, we have a few items in the room. Another Gerd seed. That is, that is amazing. Okay, that's just lying around here. And then a ceramic shard. I'm actually gonna equip those ceramic shards again. Uh, there we go. So I can actually use that on enemies. Do this. And then we can actually get his attention. He comes in and I think there's a death blow for when you're hugging the wall. Okay. Okay, never mind. Just gonna get him off the latch. There we go. Just gonna kill him as well. And that blow him so he's the general has seen me, I think. There we go, that's one. And he called a, a head in there. I think there's something behind me. Okay, it's just a normal guy. Then I'm gonna actually kill the, the guy over here. Come on. Then this guy is just banging on the bell for some reason. So let's just kill him. And there's one more guy over there. There we go. And then we have the general himself, so... I don't know what I even need to use for that. I'm just gonna get the gourds. It appears like he hasn't seen me. We have another bit of scrap iron. And he seems to be up there. But if I can actually get a stealth attack in, that would be nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose him, am I? Oh god! Jesus! My, my uh, utter lock just went away for a very awkward time. Oh god! So I think, yeah, the shuriken will be good if he jumps up like that. There we go. And there we... Oh, I almost had him there. Yeah, okay. Too enthusiastic. Let's resurrect and get his ass. And there we go, that's the first one. Oh, that's a sweep. Woo! Oh! But, but I still have a second resurrection, so there we go. There we go. From the dead. In his face. Two is really similar to one we seen before, and another one of those prayer beats. Okay then, what mind if I do? So if we didn't do the memory, we could actually just get two prayer beats from this area as well. Interesting. And we're actually pretty close to our next resurrection already, which is fine by me. There's a little building to the side here, through the open gate, that has... At least one item, so let's get that. Divine Confetti. 
So more protection against those apparition type enemies. I'm gonna be needing that sooner rather than later. And a letter. Turn back if you value your life. You can't behead the headless. Or swords and pikes did nothing. Okay. So is this the start of another area then? I must assume so. Yeah, probably that over there. Look at that. It's like a frosty cave. Uh, I'm just going to try that because I don't have too much to lose. There we go. So swing over here. But then... There's a... Ooh. Yeah, I see what we need to do. There we go. Ledge hang. Ooh, that was... Because you need to do everything yourself in this game. It's really not like in games like Tomb Raider or Uncharted that you he does everything automatically. Just climb up. I'm just going to sneak because I don't know what we're facing here. More of the sugar. And then we can actually just jump down it feels like. Didn't even take a little bit of damage. And then we're at this cave. Interesting. Just going to look down a bit because I feel like they're, they're going to hide a lot of uh, areas to the sides of cliffs where you can drop down. But, speaking about dropping down, this feels like we're heading into a tomb of some sort. And everything went dark and a bit foggy. Do we get the sculptor's idol in here? Because I don't know how we would easily get back here without doing that dangerous... Oh, what is that? It's a guy with a purple sword. But, spirit emblems. That looks good. And that gets us back outside. We can actually get up. What? Um, where are we now? Oh, wait a second. Is this that bit that... With the steps... No. Where, where the hell am I? Oh, we're above the cave now. So this is a way of getting back, then, I suppose. But we're not going to go back. Just want to see what was in here. But a guy with a purple sword. And there doesn't seem to be any other way of dealing with this than to just jump on top of his face. And I feel like I hear more than just him. This is going to be... This is a trap. This is so a trap. But hey. Oh, God. Oh, this is actually a boss. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, 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 uh. And I'm almost dead as well, so yeah, I'm going to die. What is he doing? Stop doing that. And I can't even run anymore. Stop doing that. Nope, it just went straight through my defense there. Death. Okay, thank you. So you know what? Let's just go through the normal way, because I've, I've been... Yeah, I was too curious there. Uh, so I feel like we can actually see that from here. Yeah, that's the cave where the headless is hiding. Interesting. So we can actually get to that from here as well if we want to. So just murdering fools again. By the many. So we're getting used to fighting normal mob type enemies. Which is actually good. So we can actually safely traverse these areas without too much of a hassle. There's a tree branch over the here. Why is there one over here? I feel like... Oh, yeah. It's hiding a sculptor's idol. So we can't actually go down here. Oh, wait. Was there an enemy up there? Okay. Totally missed him. Let's just drop down. And we get ourselves another sculptor's idol. Which is, I assume, an easy way to... Skip that uh, that area with the general we just did, uh, but I haven't taken any hits, so might as well just keep everybody the way they are. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, oh, oh! Stop poisoning me. A gecko. So that was what saw me as well, and I think I heard it when I was walking around the bridge here. Um. Only problem is, I can't seem to cross this area. Is there a way to go further down over here? Oh yes, there is. Okay, no matter if I do. Just, just gonna be... What's happening? Just gonna be careful, but everything is rumbling. 
Everything is rumbling, so we're bypassing the castle for now. Because I'm I'm assuming that is Ashina Castle. Maybe that. There seems to be quite a few of those big buildings around here. Now. More trees. And we're going down again, but not towards the headless this time. And I feel like I'm gonna need some more equipment to face that guy if we really, really want to. I'm just scanning every cliffside to see where we can actually drop down or where we can't. Mid-air grappling hook. Yeah, I've needed that a few times already, so no need to explain that to me now. Uh, we could actually go over there, but why is this platform here? Doesn't seem to be any peculiar reason. Other than the fact that I can actually go up again. No. No, we can't. Okay. So that means I actually need to jump and grapple. Okay. So now we can either go over here. Oh, never mind. There's nothing here. And then we have the tree and it's rumbling again. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Um, um, can I go back? Can I go back? That's a giant snake! Jesus Christ! What the hell is that? Well, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's a giant white snake. So that's the... Ooh, there it is again. That's the rumbling. He's looking for me. Ah! Can I actually just... Oh, I can hug the wall, but that doesn't really do anything. Uh, I need to see where I need to go. And then drop here and hide in the bushes. Oh. Does he actually see me in here? Jesus Christ. That's a big snake. No, he's not leaving. Where do I need to go from here? Oh, over there. Underneath him. Does he? He does look to the left at all, but... Hi. Don't snakes actually see in heat vision? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, there we went. He's... Ooh, wow. Okay. Well, that is new. That is new. So that's um, a boss stealth section. We're gonna get so fucked again. Oh no. Oh no. Why can't we hug the wall here? Um. What is he doing? How far can he reach? How big is he? Ah. Uh, yeah, there he is. Okay. Can I actually go around here? Yeah, I can. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, he doesn't see me. Oh! Okay, back in the back in the grass. Back in the grass. Ooh, he's actually lying down in the grass. That's not good. Ah! Okay, so he's looking in that direction, so I think I can actually hug the wall now. Ooh, this is exciting! This is really exciting. Can I actually hide here? Jesus! Um, I don't know what to do now. I'm in oh god. There we go. Okay. I'm taking the chance. Got him in the eye. Um, um, um. This is a good. This is a good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Gemini Christ. There's an item here. Snap seeds. Ooh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Where do I need to go? Over there. Over there. Jump. Woo. Oh, and jump again. I'm in a cave. Jesus Christ. Ooh, 
Um, I should probably jump up. Wow. Okay. Well, that was something. Um, I'm covered in blood. Woo. <laughs> oh, this is not going to be good. It's like, oh, look at the beautiful sunlight. Don't mind the giant snake that's hunting you. Where is it? It's going to be here, isn't it? I'm actually covered in, <laughs> in blood. Um, this is bad. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. I can hear it behind me. Is it behind me? I have no idea and I don't want to find out. So that's the snake. We saw the snake skin a while back. But uh, I think we found the owner. But that was a really cool stealth section actually. We got through that in one piece. Oh god. There's actually an enemy up there. He's looking for me. I'm just going to go back. Because there was another grappling point over there. Oh, and there's a Sculptor's Idol. There is a Sculptor's Idol. So with that Sculptor's Idol, I think we might as well just go back to Emma and give her that Dragon Rod uh, thing, that stagnated blood. And see what she can do with just that. So, hello, Emma. I saw... Yes? I saw you and Lord Kuro in a vision. A vision? Yes. Where is Lord Kuro right now? He's being kept near the keep at Ashina Castle. The gate to the castle, however, is shut. I see. Okay, thank you for that little bit of explanation about the vision, but... I'm glad you've come, Master Wolf. Okay, give Dragon Rod rot blood sample. I've obtained one. A blood sample. Let me see. The coloration is very similar to the sculptor's. The color is just slightly tainted, but what's this? Hmm. Do you have enough blood? I believe so. Oh. Allow me to continue my research into the dragon rot. When we speak again, it's likely I'll have made a breakthrough. In fact, count on it. Okay. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Emma. And let's give her a gourd seed as well. And now we can use the healing gourd three times. Goodbye. That is that. Then, I think there's another thing I want to do before we end this. I want to go back to that merchant and buy the rest of his information. Because now I have enough sen, we can actually do that. There's another chicken here that I didn't expect. Let's just uh, make it into a shish kebab. And get whatever we can from it. But, so that's the vision we saw. And we're back at the merchant. So... Hello. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, good sir. I procured some goods with the coin you gave me. That's also Go interesting. On. Buy something. Okay, so we can purchase items or purchase information. Anayama the Petlich. I'll buy some information. Thank you very much for your patronage. Hmm. Since you're a shinobi, I'll give you some information about shinobi tools. If you could. Now, I've seen this tube. A tube with fire blasting out of it. Huh? When we broke into the Harata estate, one of my pals nabbed one. That's... That's the sound the fire makes when it blasts out. So that's just a flame vent. Flame barrel memo. A tattered note written by Anayama seems to be from some years ago. Lucrative info number 36. When we broke into Hirata estate, we found the barrel that spewed fire. The boys lit a roaring bonfire with it and made merry with the drink. Must have been a shinobi's tool. I think we got that, right? That's the, just the, the flame vent that we've used already. I have one. I'll tell you that... What? I said I already have one. Huh? Oh. Oh. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> that one's on me. Okay then, oil. So we got oil just because we already had the flame bend. Fair enough. Let's see what he actually sells. Oh, light coin purse. So we can buy coins that we don't lose. That is interesting as well. And the phantom kunai. A kunai used by Lady Butterfly that can be used to upgrade the loaded shuriken. A ringing sound is heard when the kunai is thrown and phantom butterflies appear in the kunai's trail. Since childhood, Lady Butterfly had accumulated much experience in Yusui's forest far from civilization along Tozan Trail. This forest is filled with mist and mystification, making it ideal for training in illusion techniques. 
Okay, but we need 3,000 cent to actually buy that. Which is a lot. By the way, good sir, I'm going to let you in on something. All right. I'm thinking about expanding my business. I mean, who knows when Ashina will fall? It's what you might call a uh, sinking ship. In other words, okay, that was a noise. opportunity is knocking, you know? Which is why I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? Do you mind finding out what the Ashina Samurai want right now? You tell me that, I can sell it to them. You're a shinobi. I bet you've got a good ear for gathering information from the enemy. Ah, help a poor merchant out here, huh? Please. Uh, fair enough. So we got the flame barrel memo, two oil, and we still have only a little bit of money. I actually want to check out what the uh, the coin purse actually does. How much we get from it. We don't see how much we get from it by just looking at it. So I'm actually going to use one. If we do that, we get 100. And we can buy... Coin purses, 410 cent to get back what we... To, to actually be safeguarded against loss, I'm assuming. Okay. Uh, with that, I'm actually going to take a little break. I'm actually going to go near the, the Sculptor's Idol. But with that, we're going to take a little break. And when we get back, we're going to head back to the last Sculptor's Idol we communed with. And try to take on the Ashina Gate fortress which is i think up there already or a bit to the left maybe but uh, we'll see that later on so thank you guys once for watching and hope to see you guys in the next episode of sekiro shadows die twice goodbye